Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be working on this nail art design. I was inspired by this scarf. So the pattern isn't exact, but that's where I got the idea from. So let's get started. Here are my fingernails. So I've been wearing this nail polish already. This is my second week and I wanted to do a little something extra. The nail polish color I'm using is this one by N Style and this one's called Tea Time. So this is the color I found the most similar to my scarf. So that's why I chose this particular color. So now let's get started with the nail art. I'm gonna begin by using this acrylic paint by Apple Barrel in the color white, along with this striper brush. And this is what the tip looks like. I'm just making a thick white line over the side of my fingernail. So I'm just painting two lines so that it becomes nice and thick, the thickness I want. Now I'm just going to be painting a thicker stripe coming in from side to side. So I'm trying to make it as straight as I possibly can going sideways. Now I'm just going to add the opposite side. Now the next acrylic paint I'm going to be using is this black one also by Apple Barrel in the color black. Now I'm just going to be outlining the sides of the stripes or the thick lines we made. Now I'm just going to cross sideways to the sideway line. And do the same exact thing on the opposite side. And definitely play around with it. If you see that you didn't get the result you wanted, go in there and uh, just play around with the lines. That's the awesome thing about using acrylic paints, that if you mess up, you can always go in and fix the mess up. So right here I'm seeing that I have to fill in a little bit more. So I'm just going to do that. Next, I'm going to be painting a red line and I'm going to be using this one by Folk Art in the color Calico Red. So this red line, I'm just going to be painting it over the side. And I want it a little bit thicker, so I'm just going to go over it one more time, putting a little more pressure on the brush. And now I'm just going to do a red line across. And going over it one more time. For my pointer fingernail and my ring fingernail, I'm going to be using this black nail polish by Nail Fetish. So I'm just going to be painting a deep V French. And I usually get the sides of my fingernail dirty when I do this. It's no big deal. You can just go in and clean it up if that happens to you once you're done. So I'm just doing that V French. Now we just do the same exact thing over the pointer finger now. So over the corner area I like to go in and just fill it in so that there's a nice um, little corner so that it doesn't look square like that. So I just fill it in and I'm using a, a medium size striper brush for this. Now for my pinky fingernail and my thumbnail, I'm just applying the nail polish over the entire nails. Now on top of the black nail polish, I'm going to be adding this glitter polish by Simple Colors. It's called Smoking Hot. I believe it's been discontinued for a while, but any glitter polish of your choice should do great. So I'm just applying that coat on top of the black polish. Oh, 
For my top coat, I'm gonna be using this one by Simple Colors. Over my pinky fingernail and my thumbnail, I decided not to add top coat, just so it could look a little bit um, of a different texture. But that's it, that's how you're gonna get this nail art design done. I hope you guys like this idea and give it a try using your favorite colors. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time, bye.